March 31st, 2021 it is today. Uh, this is to serve as additional MK Ultra proof identified a few days ago was a gentleman right here from the city of the Novo Mesto and also his deceased brother and more than that. This is to serve as additional proof of MK Ultra as I stated which lasted between 1995 upon my departure to the United States of America and it, uh, it did extend it all the way to Poland in 2019 when also I was hijacked. I was hijacked from immigration center as well as very likely from the hostel in Zgierz. Uh It's like this from 95 to mid 2006 to August of 2006 supposedly I never ever was in Europe uh, I was all over the Europe I was all over the world but nowhere more than in Slovenia I was born in Slovenia just like Melania Trump her age uh, uh, maybe 20 kilometers apart from one another city Novo Mesto um, were brought repeatedly the gentleman you're about to hear engaged in MK Ultra from early beginnings believed to have the same profession like I have or at least he is a mechanic uh, maintenance mechanic something I did not ask inquired about I'm also a mechanical engineering technician I'm not sure whether he is or not uh, he will mention the company named Berus I think he did worked in that company I believe prior to settlement at uh, Yisk let's go to the business Yisk as a uh, few people they would not know about Yisk It's quite a popular company. I don't know. Was it is it Scandinavian, German, whatever it is? This corporation is all over the Europe. This is what a source looks like. Um, Berus. This is just a car dealership. In which area? Heavy MK Ultra. Would also take place they do sell all these Volkswagens you know that kind of stuff basic German cars gonna give you a little idea about it uh, this here all in all if he was not I'll tell you that he wasn't too happy about because the job he was doing was quite physical it was quite exhausting to him uh, and he was really really happy that employment opportunity opened in Yisk now that would basically be the location you see right here that's Yisk, this here. And so, this company gave him a little more comforting job, easier. I don't know about the pay, but he was really, really happy about and He pretty much started as the company opened. Got in and uh, position even for the supervisory position. And some other stuff. I would not even want to discuss about because of course like for everything else I like to keep some things inside of my sleeves you know just in case he is from Ratis Ratis is a place where a lot of people were killed poisoned murdered 
in accordance in according to instructions of Vlad Veliki Vlad Vladimir Putin and Alexander Vucic who also have brought some people from their home state to terrorize locals in there uh, to police local people thanks to Borut Pahor this is now Slovenian president and so yes he's from Ratesh but we go to MK Ultra. He did build home in the vicinity of this Yisk here. Yeah, that's the way it is. This is related tiny little bit to this here video which I have published where I recognize dentists here from Novo Mesto in which video I also mention psychiatrist Peter Kapsch psychiatrist Peter Kapsch who was heavily involved in my MK Ultra case one of the first people and what I mentioned in the video is a fact that he visited in Belgrade he was in Belgrade and it was the Russian government and it was a Serbian government that knew this guy very 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 well and this is a very very important information which I have stated not without the reason I stated one with a good reason Ratesh this is the area as I already have demonstrated you not too far from our home this is our home here in the city of the Novo Mesto and this here this is a uh, Ratesh Veliki Vlad big Vladimir Putin poisoned my teacher my personal friend thanks to whom I managed to overcome troubles in grammar and in high school in respect to a math in respect to a physics man who treated me like his son and uh, that was just one of his biggest mistakes he did he managed to poison him with his KGB agent right inside of this home and there was all other a lot of other people I reported already and there was more that happened in this place here in this Ratesh but this man also is from Ratesh and his brother just like you are about to hear so this is again that village not too far from here his brother as you're about to hear also died in 2005 due to a terrible terrible um, stomach issues he would not state directly it was a cancer but he does indicate so that it did have to do with cancer with those kind of issues big time there was no way they possibly could save him uh, in a hospital in a novel mental hospital yeah let's go to the recording but not before you see these pictures here this is the stuff I want you to look at good. Because his brother was yet another victim of this thing here. He paid for this. He paid for this stuff. He paid. And individual that you see on the left hand of Borut Pahor, now Slovenian president, that's Lavrov, and individual that you see here on the right hand of Slovenian president, uh, you already know that's a Vlad, Vladimir Putin, had a big, big, big plan together with Mr. Borut Pahor for this audio. Oh, they knew very well. I will recognize the gentleman. They even instructed 
on where to take a picture and how of his home. This is his home and just as I write, house looks the same as any other structures built during the, la during the past 50 years or even more. Completely, completely identical. Standing, what I was standing, where I met an individual. That's basically was here. And then what I moved was just here, just to see the house, the front of the house. You would not even get the opportunity to view this thing here. A looking one from right here from therefore from here from this from this horizon from this point you would definitely assume if you would not know but I do for this entire area that house was probably I should say most likely built I don't know maybe 30 40 years ago now our home completely looks indifferent from what you see here uh, structures you should see here goes all the way back to 50 and even more years as every house almost <coughs> excuse me looks the same and this one here all through was built finished completed is new in year 2000 looks indifferent from them that basically means that the house was built 20 years ago as a new home completed and this here is an old home. This is an old home that also belongs to him, uh, which I also indicated, I also recognized, he confirmed was um, remodeled. Okay, remodeled means um, when I say remodeled, whenever I stated remodeled, it means um, renovated. Okay, I hope that I never made a mistake. When, when I ever said remodeled, I always meant uh, renovated. Renovated. That's all there is to it. Remodeled, renovated. I hope I never made. Uh, if you, if I stated something like it's. That's exactly what I meant. It means painted over, new roof, that kind of stuff. I actually pointed out a whole set of things that undoubtedly placed me on a fact that we did know each other very well from the past. And um, all other stuff, I'm going to leave it up to the uncles to explain. Now, let's go to the business that means to an audio which I have reserved for you I saw the man carrying a long something that was green, painted with a green color. Uh, and this man had it from the river area, which is right down. Okay, if you if you would go, this is the river right here, down, right below, uh, Kirka River, and he had it. Basically, when just as you see this, he went into this direction here. And I said to myself, wow, man, he probably was fishing for carps. Uh, this is a, a depth here. It's like several meters deep river here, and people do go. Uh, therefore, in, in this direction here, they, they like to go carp fishing here. 
they do that a lot. Catfish or carp fishing. And seeing him, I assumed that that's what he was doing, and I, I put my nose in it, and I wanted to learn if he got something or not. And he was kind enough to stop, and uh, we started the conversation. I say, I'm sure he got carp. Was it something? Was it something? I hurl him. I am from far away, but I'm determined that I'm not going to let him go until he tells me. I am, where am I right now at this point in time? Uh, maybe uh, something like this here. This is probably where I am here. Like this. And he is already going here. He's about to escape me. And I'm like, oh, was it something? You got something? I tell him, did you catch something? Was it something or not? And he said, uh, uh, no, I did not fish. Who are you? I tell him, I'm your neighbor here. I'm from the opposite side of the river, basically. Uh, now when I look better, as I come closer to him, okay, now I come here, he, he comes back to me down, stops here and then he heads back to me and he says um, he says to me uh, I, I said to him I, I thought you had a foot roller no? foot roller you know, how do you even say that oh, let me demonstrate to you foot roller that's like something that you put the fishing or even a weapon you can put inside now uh, I don't know how you would say that yeah I was sure that he had something like this that you can put the fishing but pull a rod inside uh, something like this and instead he had a desk yeah yeah he had a desk I don't know whether he was uh, he's about to tell me doing his cleaning of a boat or something like that he probably really did who knows uh, the thing about it is that uh, during MK Ultra you're about to hear once he cleaned uh, that was when his brother died he would go down here in this um, next to the river in this uh, slope there is a slope here like a huge slope and he was so nervous that he would work and work and work and work like completely crazy cleaning everything for one lady uh also entire slope around the river he would just go and clean and clean and clean and clean and clean and clean, and clean like a volunteer basically volunteering himself to clean this a little bit more about this man this man a uh, very nice man a very very nice man native Slovenian here became involved into MK Ultra case with idea to help the thing about it is that he became suspicious because of being a native from Slovenia helping another native from Slovenia you are immediately suspicious to the KGB to the KGB to the Serbian Chetnik state you become suspicious and easily easily you can be killed like this have I seen this happening to other people in fact I still have not completed a video about my teacher Rudy Moravitz I have not completed I have not explained how Putin got him murdered how we came back from Canada how I was 
how once we landed here when we returned to Slovenia how they separate me inside of this house from family what exactly happened inside of the kitchen the death threats who will help you who will help you you this you that you I don't know what say somebody name and any name I stated it's all the people that were murdered those are my neighbors that was my teacher and so on and so forth I have not completed the video about the big Vlad about the Vladimir yet about what this guy did here in Slovenia this is not finished yet it's nowhere near about Alexander Vucic about the war criminal Chetnik war criminal Alexander Vucic we're not halfway yet and so this guy became rated as a Nazi a suspicious man scared one time for his life literally no longer was nice to me he had his brother over there in Ratish married to a really beautiful woman I like it a lot and drugged up as I was I was just a effing mess wherever I would go I wouldn't do anything other than steer shit uh, to me it was just about uh, whatever I could kill time when drugged up best cars beautiful women watches uh, and of course water fishing though that was my interest so much uh, that they were afraid that one time I'm gonna even not one time uh, they would even have me like when we were walking next to the water on the rope basically they were thinking that because I like water so much that I'm gonna run them and skate them into the water throw myself in, and maybe drown or something like that I heard them talking to one another I was thinking the same he will do something like that and so on and this and that you never know hey hey better not hey, keep him uh, on that open stuff under the circumstances whether he liked it or not most people did not even have bad feelings for me they knew what went on he took the side against me like like oh, no, you are this you're that his brother it's possible that I insulted him I have no idea what happened I think I did he had a beautiful wife uh, lost his nerves watching this stuff a lot of people lost their mind because of this shit in the midst of all this was a psychiatrist, Kops, Peter Kops, for whom I already have explained, also traveled to Belgrade. He knows about all this stuff. And sure enough, in 2005, his brother, as I stated, they could not save him in a hospital here in the city of the Novo Mesto anymore. Let's go on with this recording. I tell him, oh, there are carps in there. And he says, no, no, I have a boat in there. Uh, I, 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 I saw the fishing, fisherman uh, fished, and what I did was I cut them at branches so they could uh, warm themselves up when they fish. And he's a person like this that he would just go and uh, he would just go out there and help you out. Like I said, he was a volunteer. He volunteered himself. He did the cleaning of the slope around the river and so on. Uh, I tell him, you know, you shouldn't do this for the fishermen. You should instead cut branches and throw them inside of the river so the carps could have a place to hide themselves from the fishermen. Uh, I feel that the more trees under the water, the better for the fish, the more 
fish is uh, basically flourishing, the more difficult it is for the fishermen uh, to catch fish. I'm always on the side of the fish because the river is already so empty anyways. Uh, I tell him, so you are a fisherman? I tell him, uh, no, I'm not. I just took this uh, pole with me to take a measure to do something. So I tell him, but you were a fisherman? And he said, never I was. I was never a fisherman. Oh, well, I tell him, but it's time for you to enroll yourself into into this fishing uh, at this point in time I was not even interested in recognizing him I I don't I unless the people trigger some interest in me I go about my own business uh, I I feel this to me it's already heavy to go out there and identify people let me say that I don't like doing this and so People have to behave in particular pattern, in a particular way to trigger my attention. And if they do so, then I'll go for it. Then I will go for it. Um, there are different people in it. Some like this, some like that. It was all kinds of stuff. This is a really interesting case. I like it for many reasons, this case with this gentleman. Uh, watching him, listening to him, talking the stuff he used to remind me of MK Ultra, he finally triggered attention in me. And I decide to go about it and get it done with it. I start to believe I have enough to get it done. I'm not a nerve. I don't have a nerves for fishing. I don't have a nerve for that, he says. Uh, I said, are you already pensioner or are you, or what? And he says, no, I'm not. And I said to him, but it's time, huh? It's, it's about, it's good. I say, especially because for the nerves, this is like really good uh, to go fishing. And he said, no, no, I'm not, I'm exactly not, uh, not the type for that, I'm not the type for that. Now that already reminded me of a lot of things. I like to go around and uh, it calms me, it calms me. I have a job like this. Um, as I hear all this stuff, I am certain, I'm almost definite that it was something to do with him like traveling around and that kind of stuff might actually have something to do with same as it did happened with a lot of people um, whether they like it or not they were compelled and that applies also to Poland they were compelled by the politicians to go about and just even tell wrong accounts about themselves and stuff like that it was a lot of stuff that happened like this I just met the other day also one of the ladies not too far from him I could almost say a neighbor uh when politicians, Vucic, Pahor, but it, these people demanded from people at times to come up with completely wrong, false accounts and lie. They had to lie whether they like it or not. And 
they have people that they would use I told you about the ECT electrocompulsive therapy is what they call but that's actually electroshocks bringing on a one location that was used for the buildings for the purposes of identifying buildings that's what the KGB was doing bring you electroshock you tell me about the building what do you remember and you will tell them electroshock you don't you remember we told you this you're gonna screw up you're gonna tell this and that, that, that and then they would usually embed a lie into it they would give you a false explanation about how you have to watch for something little that would remind you of the false story of the lie so when you find yourself in a real scenario you could find yourself in a lot of lies also involved along the way that the Russians would engage in over the course of the years. So your job is now not to identify something from MK Ultra, but your job is now separation of those lies the KGB embedded in you from what was uh, a reality basically a credible individual a witnessing a report from a credible sources separated from a KGB from the lies of Vladimir Putin is a parachics or Borat Paho is a parachics that's actually your job when it comes to buildings when it comes to people very very difficult not only because the government because Andrzej Koduda Moraviecki uh, Kaczynski instructed them to lie, uh, eventually to threaten all kinds of stuff, to threaten. In Serbia it was the worst, with Vucic in Bosnia. Life threats, all kinds of stuff like this, terror, uh, kill you, kill you. It was also in Slovenia with the stuff that Borat Pahar helped to organize and so on. But they would go as far as having people even lie to you about their past. If they could not get people to lie about their past, therefore mixing the story the real account that they gave you at first, they would involve somebody else, a lookalike or something like that, uh, to imitate person or use somebody to correct you and tell you, no, that was another person and so on and so forth. So that different scenarios to destroy an individual when it came to the static building and to the human being, to the live being. Screw you up million and one way so now you have to go to the earliest account of the person you met when KGB maybe did not yet know about uh, the person that just got involved in it and look for that true for that reality this is not an easy job folks this is not what you think the lady the other day I met she came with a million and one bullshit she and her hubby, thanks to Borat Power, thanks to Alexander Vucic, they got involved in it. A lot of trauma, a lot of lies, and a little truth inside of it. Now go look for it. You will not identify every one of them. This gentleman, however, did a very good job anyways. Because this here, I was grabbing myself, holding myself, trying to grab myself onto something in respect to memory. I have no idea what this was about, the traveling, but let's continue with this. I am just going to transfer uh, rather to this thing here.
uh, he tells me, I ask him, you are at home. Uh, uh, he tells me, I'm at home here. I'm here at home. I don't go and do the stuff around. We did last year close this, uh, clean this slope. I think he does it every year ever since death of his brother, I think. Um, a, a fisherman, a boat, his boat was sank and uh, we didn't only clean the slope but they also helped him pull the boat out of the water, out of the river. Obviously it was a mud that filled boat, not only the water, and sink one to the bottom of the river and he did so, he helped. I say, so you saved the boat to him, wow. I tell him out here is such a beautiful, this um, lagoon, this deep water here, there's a lot of carps here and stuff, I tell him, but it's so beautiful here, you should become a fisherman. I tell him, I still have in my head idea that he travels around, that he does, that he's like a inquisitor, that he sells a products to the stores, that he travels to the stores and he sells those products. And foremost, I am convinced when I see him at first that he is from the city Tselje. So I go completely wrong here. I'm not going to go into explanations, I already was clear about that. I am from Ratesh, he tells me. I am from Ratesh. This is the city that I mentioned earlier. So at this point in time, I got everything wrong here. He's not a fisherman. He's not from city Tselje. That's away. That's like 70 kilometers or something away from the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, and uh, what else? He uh, is not a salesman that would go sell his products to the stores. At this point in time, I would be rated like you don't know nothing what you're talking. You can you also hear him. He's like, whoa, he's like breathing heavily. Uh, he's like, he did not recognize anything about me. This is like, well, something that does not disturb me because of what I already previously stated, I tend instead to concentrate, learn more, and then give everything I can. Oh, so you're from Ratesh, and he says, uh-huh. But I'm still convinced that he does travel around and offers the products to the stores. And I says, and I say to him, but you always had this job, this job as an acquisitor, that you travel to the stores and you would sell them. I work inside of the store, he says. I work inside of the store. I still have no idea what he's talking about. So it wasn't you that you travel around and you, you used to sell to the stores? He says, no, 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 no. All over the Slovenia, I tell him, didn't you used to sell all over the Maribor, Celia, Ljubljana, and so on, and stuff like that. He says, no, 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 no. Never, he says, never. I so rest myself, I go every day down here in the slope and I do the cleaning and stuff like this. It's so good, it so rests me, it so relaxes me. I watched some race a little earlier uh, and boy, uh, then I went down and it completely relaxed me as I do this physical work. I relax my nerves.
uh, and I say to him, well, yeah, okay, that's a really, really good thing for you. You take care of yourself. I say to him, I'm thinking about that lady that was involved in it with her husband uh, and her son, for whom also I have fallen for, you know, and then I have rated her husband. I don't know what I told her about her husband, and then she got insulted and this and that. I did not know she was married. This was the biggest problem for me, a woman. Uh, and so I kind of figured out that this is just what, this this is going to nowhere. So I kind of figured out it's better for me to just go away. This is a waste of time, basically. Um, but... Uh, what did he ask me? Oh, he, he believed that I am actually, because of what you see me, I wear it also today. He thought that I am a warden, a game warden, that I'm inspecting licenses, uh, gaming licenses for fishing from people. And I said, no, 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 not at all, not at all. I saw you with this green thing you hold in your hands, and I was sure that you had a, actually a fishing pole with you. Um, I was sure that the, that that uh, maybe you're a carp fish or something, and the guy says, "Yeah, I see the guys. Uh, they fish, but they don't catch. But the thing is, I tell, I explain him, they don't know how to fish because they don't feed fish. They come and they fish. But in my view, in my way, you have to first make a habit to fish, so the fish knows where the food is, so the fish has a reason to come back." and feed itself and most of the people here really in Novo Mesa they don't do that they just look for somebody that does this so they can freeload at his or her expense rather than to go and also pay uh, you know what they should so they could catch their fish so the fish would they would catch fish huh? We almost go apart. Um, uh, when I start talking to him about this, he does not want to hear how people fish, this and that. He was really hoping to give me a good feedback. He was hoping to give me uh, best possible feedback. And uh, he keeps repeating about the nerves. I don't have the nerves. I don't have the nerves. Uh, he keeps talking about the nerves. And during MK Ultra, uh, he acted. You know, the key word here is he acted. That he had a problem with uh, nerves. The key here is acted. Let's continue.
Uh, I ask him, do you have your own store? This, is this your, like your business? Is this basically what you do? Um, I want to know about the store. Uh, so if he is not traveling around and selling the products for the stores, uh, then, well, then you got to be, you know, what are you working inside of the store your own store and he tells about the yisk about the store that i mentioned a little earlier where he works at now i say aha uh -huh, so that's where you work in the store anymore now he comes to me more about it and now i say aha uh -huh. i said wait a minute wait a minute i tell him At this point in time, I try to remind myself. Heavy traffic at this hour, a lot of cars go back and forth, like you have no idea how many cars. Now I decided I'm going to get this done. And I said, but I insist. But you used to, you used to. And I think the way earlier, way before, a long time ago, that's what he used to do. That he used to sell something. He used to travel and sell something. He says, never, never. Acquisitor or a salesman, he says, no, 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 he says. Distributor in that sense. I give him my name. I'm from across the river. My name is Bustian Ausitz. Um, and he's like, Bustian, Ausch, oh, who is this? This, when you're doing this kind of journalism, investigative journalism, you have to all put up with. Uh, yesterday, person in front of you doing you this, updating you with what happened, how it happened. Now, this person is right in front of you acting like he does absolutely not know nothing about you, who you are, and even trying to cover up the trace, his trace. This is all the stuff you have to deal with psychologically. He's, he repeats my name like he's trying to recall my name. Who am I? Like he's not there for me. How can I explain? I already get hot. You know, now it really powers me when he repeats my name, when he shuffles my name. Uh, you know, I I say, which which one of these houses is yours? Please tell me. Because I'm determined I'm going to get something out of this. Like, I'm not going out away from here until we figure out this whole thing. Uh, he tells me, this is... Um, this here, this is actually uh, our house. 
he says, and this is our old house. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, actually, uh, it's like this. I don't, I don't even understand when he says which house, what house exactly is his house. I don't know. At this point in time, I'm actually even thinking that this here, that this would be his house, which is our old house and our house. Uh, I don't know. This. I understand somewhat somehow I have a difficulty to understand him what because he does not point directly or anything like this and the house he says is his house this house I don't actually even see it at this point we are at this point he and I were standing here and from here his house cannot even be seen I only get to see this house here Uh, once again, we're going to do this stuff here. So I made a mistake here. We are standing right here. And he says, that's my house and that's our old house. And from here, well, he and I stand. I can actually not even see his house. Okay, that's his house. Uh, I only get to see maybe something like this maybe something like that i don't get to see the house from where i stand and so i assume that his house actually is this house here that you see that this big house that you see right there that that's actually his house and uh that that's his old house old house this is like a house i don't know maybe 100 years old maybe 150 years old maybe 200 years old. I don't know how old this house here is, our old house. This house here that you see, this house was renovated. So I have no idea even what, at this point in time, what exactly is he talking about. The last I would understand him uh, is that this here is actually his house. Because I can, as I stated, I cannot even see one when standing with him here at this point in time. I don't know what he is talking about exactly, precisely. And he's asking about my parents. <laughs> uh, it seems like it works. Uh, my parents worked in a pharmaceutical company, Kirka. My sister, my parents, everybody. She is retired already. They're all retired. He says, I know some people from Kirka, he says. And I'm saying to him, I'm trying to recall you. And I say, no, wait a minute. I said, this, you said, which, which is your house? And I still think that he is talking about, obviously, about this house. Because this was the house in front of him and in front of me that would be most visible. This house here, this is, this is his house, basically. I am completely confused. What is he talking about at this point in time? Uh, our old house, this house here, this is this house is a hundred years old house, maybe more. I have no idea how old this house here is. What is he talking about at this point in time? So, okay, I am now understand finally that at this point in time I understand that this here, that this is his house. This is his old house, obviously. Uh, I don't know, 100 years old. I don't know how old that house is. And I say, so this is your house? And you say, I say to him, and and what? And that house is also yours? And he says, no, 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 that house is not my house. No. 
I said, okay, okay, I understand. So this one and at this point in time, I don't understand what he is even talking about. I understand only that this house is his house. So I'm not sure what exactly are you talking about because the other house, I cannot see one. Because he said this house and that house. And how am I going to know at this point in time what is he talking about when I barely cannot, I cannot even see his house. So I'm like, uh-huh. Uh, and so, uh, so when he says this to me, okay, now watch this out so that you're going to understand the precision of this shit. The entire street that you see in front of you, in meanwhile, as I talk to him, I calculated when which house was built because this people from the street, they were all involved in it. This whole Mechkovitz was involved in it. Now you got to understand the degree of what it takes to identify. And when he says this stuff to me, I understand that this is the house, this house over there, behind. Right? That this is the house that he meant, not the house up on a hill. So when he says that that's not his house, I said, so you came from Ratish here to this place. He says, yeah, I married from Ratish to this place. So just a moment, I already am the one who pointed out that he came from Ratish here that he married woman here. That's already one strike. I'm gonna take credit for it. No, he could be from Ratish and they could move to Ratish. He could, uh, they could, his parents could build house here and it would be a woman that could move to this house. Instead of that, I said, you married woman from here. That's one credit you're gonna give me. I say, so we are here. Here we are at right now. And so now I'm going to tell you when this was. And now I'm calculating the whole street. Now that's a map from MK Ultra. Supposedly I never was here between 95 and till August 2006. Uh, that's 11 and a half years at least. I was not here. I say 2000, 2000, uh, I calculate, I keep calculating. Oh, this is very difficult. But when you're standing next to the structure, it becomes much easier than going through the Google Maps, I tell you that. You're going to give me immediately the second credit because I told him this is then a new structure which you completed in year 2000. Now this is any not any 40, 50 year old house or whatever old house as typically would be, especially because this is like, this is not a high house. This is a low house. Low house, low structure, the type of structure they would erect for the last 50 plus years here in this area. More likely than not, you would say this is the house that would be remodeled. A remodeled house, or what did I said earlier? The type of house, you know, painted roof and stuff like that. Um, now, I said, you built, you completed this house then, in year 2000 is new, this house, new house then. He says, that is correct, he said. We started the one in year 1996, and we completed one in 2000. So you're going to give me the second credit. Now, 
Now I go to his old house. Ooh, this house here, this house. I don't know how old this house is. This this house has been here since from forever. This is an old, old, old house. This house here. Huh, ages here. Since you're saying it's yours, right? And then at this point, when I say, since you're saying it's yours, I'm already calculating stuff that you have no idea. I am already seeing him when he came, when, how would all this happen, the deal, the purchase, that kind of stuff. Usually, usually you would have a person that would move to a certain place remodel his yeah remodel his place first and then he would go and erect the new structure but not in this case and that's why you're gonna give me three third credit already because I tell him first you build new home and then you remodeled the old house so that's the third credit you're gonna give me now I'm just gonna go and collect credits He says correct. When they did the reconstruction of the road, that's when I disappeared again to the US and I was brought from the US and he told me you most likely will never remember this stuff here. But they did the road, it was in 2008. But I did remember, so this is already the third one. This is all thanks to him. I am still thinking because I want more. Now I already created a map about the person, who the person is. Uh, this is a house of Berus. Uh, Berus is, like I said, a mechanic uh, that works in the opposite side of the city. I don't know if he was an employee of Berus. I have no idea. I think, well, one thing is certain. If he was not, he had a job that was not very comfortable. He had the kind of profession like mine, and that involves a lot of physical work. Uh, it demands from person to be all the time sober, present at work, physical, active. I have no idea where he worked. Did he work at something that it's some mechanic or something like this that what he, what he was doing something like this or was he doing it uh, there was another place I, uh, I don't know uh, in the direction of Berlin or something like this I cannot pull this out but uh, it was a job that required from him to be fairly physically active and that everybody's crazy about um, going out there and be I don't know how physically active the profession I have as educated for involves all types of work usually this is a very very comfortable job if you are a maintenance mechanic the less machines have problems the better you are off and the more you are paid because that means that you are doing just the stuff that is needed the proper maintenance procedures that you maintain the proper maintenance procedures for this uh, for the uh, industrial facility whatever um, but it could range all the way to the operator on um, on all kinds of machines and stuff like this or uh, what we call a schlosser that's uh, really heavy physical work that's one profession I have then I'm also mechanical engineering technician that's another one but if the first profession has many subdivisions that it depends where that stuff can lend you usually it lends you wherever the employer needs you and 
uh, yeah, you need jobs, so you that's that. So I already have three credits. Let's go. And I'm thinking, are you related maybe to Berus now? Why I'm asking this stuff here? He built house, and I know that this man was involved in MK Ultra already way back, way back in time. In '96, before maybe even maybe in '95, and I know that he profited somehow financially. I don't know, was it a credit? I don't know exactly what was it, but financially, or was it a job that job that paid him more? Was it credit? I have no idea what it is, and I'm thinking about what exactly make you. Thanks to which he went into the construction of this house. He had some savings and this and that, and the road completely, once he got involved in this case, opened to him. Things became much better, improved for him. And I'm trying to figure out, I said, are you brother from him? Because I know he has a brother. I know he has a brother. I know he has a brother. He's from Ratish. I know he has a brother at this point. So that's already the four credit. Just wait a moment. I'm going to ask him if you have a brother. But I know that he has a brother. I know that he got a credit. I know that he got money from somewhere. It was a better paid job. It was something that was became affordable, improved situation, economical. Since 96, something like this, 97. He says, no, I'm not his brother. I don't know what he said. I am not actually not even, I don't even understand what his answer was about this Berus from Tsikawa, this and that. Uh, for what I suggested earlier that he might have worked over there. I don't even care about this stuff. At this point, I'm, I'm mapping more and I'm trying to pull more stuff about him. Uh, I think he actually said maybe that he is from this house maybe or something the Berus that I mentioned earlier that he is from the house or he is not from the house from the house from the old house that I mentioned did he said this that he did not said that I don't actually even care about he does nothing good for me uh, I, I said no 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 I said I just don't even want to talk about that stuff I said now I have another question another question I'm talking about the Ratish where he is from because I got more information about it. Check this out. I already tell him more now. You are from the house in Ratish. Okay, there are houses, but there are also apartments inside of the houses and this and that. But you are a... Uh, uh, and I said, you have a brother, right? Am I correct? From Ratish, from the house where you're at, you have a brother, right? And he says, I had brother, but he died. So you're going to give me five credits for this. Check this out. My brother died, he says. He died in 2005. So he died in 2005, uh-huh. Now, I remember his brother already. I remember his children, his wife. I remember the family, his family. I remember. I remember all. His brother has a children, too. There you go. Now you're going to give me already the six credit because I pointed out where their house in the Ratish is along the road that goes through the Ratish. So there you have it. I pointed out that he had a brother. 
I pointed out uh, that his house is the house along the main road on the Ratish. I feel really shitty when he says that his brother died. No, that his brother died. I, at this point in time, it was so many people that died that people that got involved in the case, his brother was involved in the case. This is another one. I am like, oh man. I give him my condolences from for his brother. This death of his brother completely destabilized him. I remember when his brother died, he was... Uh, when he got ill, it was before 2005, when his brother got ill, uh, he would go to this bank, to this bank of this river, to this slope, and he would just do work. He became really nervous. Uh, almost got like a nervous breakdown because of this. I asked him, can you please tell me what the cause of his death was? I tell him, you're going to give me the credit number seven. I don't actually really like, but it's a very, very beneficial for everybody involved in this case. In, uh, for the credit number seven, I'm going to tell you that I suggest him already that it was a lot of dirty play that went on. Uh, bad stuff that happened to the people. Very unusual reasons, causes of death appeared. Obviously, the gentleman knows me. You know me. You know what I am talking about. I go straight into area of the cancer, poisoning, death, so that's going to be a credit number seven you're going to give me. So there's no way you can say that I did not recognize the general. He did have internal uh, disease, uh, and he says, uh, but what kind, I say. Did he have something to do with a calm? Uh, just want to make really sure about this. This here, intestines. Just like a Kagabe boy told me. As he would do to Rudy Moravitz. This is a peel that goes inside you eat and then it stucks inside of your intestines come and it will cause a major 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 damage a tumor and from within there is no escape anymore. This is just gonna spread, cause more damage, tumors and so on. You're dead, basically. You're a dead walking man. I encountered this scenario after Mr. KGB from Vladimir Putin explained to me literally in face and even demonstrated me how it's done on the man who was my tutor, my private tutor, uh, even in a grammar school, uh, time and again I have I was told from other people of this scenario. Then I read about, let's say, Croatian president Tujman, Franja Tujman, and about other people. Uh, what kind of uh, agony this was. Uh, Dernoshek was the one who literally was updating me with his health status. Slovenian President Dernoshin, who was involved in this MK Ultra and who got poisoned with this stuff because he was suspicious. You see, he was from here and the Vladimir just uh, 
he was just suspicious and that's good enough for uh, it doesn't matter if you look suspicious you are you're guilty now being a native here from Slovenia you look very very suspicious so we got the deal with completely completely insane people from Moscow here and Belgrade we, we we dealt with the complete, complete insanity. We we dealt with the people that were definitely mentally ill as it gets. <coughs> it does not get more ill when it comes to Vladimir than when it comes to Vladimir Putin, Alexander Vucic. I hear this all the time. <laughs> but what exactly gives you the right, based on the person's physique, to assume that he's evil, that he's no good? and that he needs to be killed, poisoned. I mean... Uh, they di I said, did he got the cancer? Uh, and he says they did not mention anything in the hospital in respect to the uh, cancer intestine column, cancer in the stomach, anything like this. He just went to the hospital and he died, he says. He would not want to discuss anything about it. Uh, because, yeah, that's a credit number seven you're going to give me. I am very persistent about it, though. I want him to say uh, the truth about what exactly happened here. So I say they did not want to mention this. I want to correct him. Why do I correct him? Because you have a gentleman here who lost internal organs because he was poisoned too. When they poisoned people, they would have a local physicians that would decline you assistance. You don't understand because Bord Pahor, the government, would ensure that physicians, uh, practitioners, they would literally not assist people. That basically you would get poisoned, you would go sick for help, you would have a physician in front of you. I had physicians and attorneys saying to me, claiming me, that also the people that get this kind of treatment is a treatment they deserve there'll be no help and man here from the village reminded me of that when he gave me his own testimony in respect to his internal organs which they started to fail from one to the other everything was dying away i'm not saying that it was that this is what happened to him to his brother his brother from what i remember this man completely lost his nerves. He was in the hospital with his brother back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He would go all over the place uh, trying to find out, learn what the hell goes on. He couldn't. He couldn't do anything for him. By the way, this man got Yisk. When we're talking about the Yisk, probably, we're talking about probably this Yisk, the local, thanks to this guy now. Uh that we're talking about probably year 2000 and also it goes back 2000 and uh, 2002 Yisk he got the job in Yisk one of the first people who got job inside of this YISC. Um, all through not qualified quite, not with education, and that's going to give me more credits, of course, uh, for to be a manager inside of the store. He did manage over the course of the years. I think it took him about what a bit, but, um, maybe like two years, something like that. To advance himself into the office at this YISC. So he became one of the managers inside of this YISC. He became one of the people that uh, in charge inside of the store. 
he says very very possible very 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 likely that if I repeat here let's go again what kind of disease that he uh, he had internal disease i said about well, what kind what kind of disease i want to know and i say that the cancer cancer the stomach cancer calm intestine cancer what kind of cancer because i'm already talking about the cancer because i already indicated him earlier that there was all kinds of dirty play that went on he he is afraid to say he's afraid to say They did not mention cancer. They did not mention cancer or anything back then. They did not mention. He only went to the hospital and that was it. I said, no, that's not true. No, no, no. I said, it doesn't go like that. He says, he says, uh, uh, the cancer they did not. I said, no, no, no. I said, they did not want to mention. You can't just die. Just you can't die just without the reason having a problem inside of the stomach and they as he indicates they did not want to mention but as i claim he had cancer stomach cancer he had a cancer he was poisoned he says possible yeah possible too possible too I say to him, my condolences, and you see me smiling. <coughs> you see this here? You see this guy here? You see this here? These people that lodged in our house here in the city of the Nova Mesta? <coughs> <coughs> See this people, this is this is what was inside of the house here in the city of Nova Mesto. You see this stuff here? These are the people that murdered Slovenian people. These are the people that murdered, poison our people. This goes if you just consider the President Dernoshek to 96, Tujman. They went out there big time to kill. It's like this. Let me explain to you, this shit, it became so widespread, it became so evident who is doing this kind of stuff, that the KGB, Ruski, Russians, Serbs, the Chetniks from Belgrade would go and they would eventually give these pills to other people in area so that they would go and poison dogs and maybe even some other people. And this is exactly the kind of case too for which Belgrade and Moscow have anticipated they could actually use to turn the story in their advantage because especially his brother was from Maratish and they got fucked this time, really big time. That's all the mystery you need to know. This is yet another murder of Vladimir Putin of Alexander Vucic of another Slovenian native. The gentleman lost his brother. There is more stuff like this. Uh, I just happened to have even audio recording about the guy whose dog was poisoned. He started to cry. He was involved in it. His mom was involved in it. In this since 95. They poisoned him dog like this. They didn't want people to see them that they're doing. They, it became so evident. It became so obvious that they figure out they have to deal this around a little bit. It was 2005 when his brother died. That they had no choice other than to do it this way, so that it would not be. Borut Pahor insisted, especially, I, it's why I know, he insisted that in late stages it was not the Russians who were doing, 
It was not Russians, it was uh, Polish government alone. They, they did have all kinds of stuff going on. But the man, Borut Pahor, today a president of Slovenia, cover up for the KGB, for the Russia, for the Russians, for the Chetnik state, Serbian Chetnik state, for the Belgrade from year 1995 all the way up, violently brainwashed on how to see, how to have views, how to see things for me to be actually even alive. So that's all I wanted to say. They tried to blend this into something else. Uh, for the rest of it, they know better. Uh, the uncles know better. They can tell the whole thing from A to Z exactly what they believe they would accomplish with this case. All right, folks, uh, I hope to understand. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have video coming about the dog, how they poisoned, but the next video, I think I'm just going to go and demonstrate to you what they did to my own cousin from Bela Kraina, who was involved in this case. I had two cousins in Bela Kraina, and one of the cousins, yeah, they poisoned him too, boy. But the poisoning that took him, the way they did to him, that he got cancer, was exactly the kind of poisoning, this gland node cancer, that later on... Uh, I also experienced, it's not that I experienced later on, I couldn't explain my cousin that I am already at that stage, what, I was not at that stage, I was not at the stage that he was, but they had done to me already with this gland cancer in Belgrade, as I already explained in 1996, so just enjoy this program. I got plenty of it. They went after my pa family, my cousin in Maribor, dead. He got one of those pills. Neighbors dead here. I got plenty of people dead around me, thanks to Vlad, Vladimir Putin. I know that you, you Russians don't like to hear the word Russia, and I know that you Serbs don't like to hear the name Serbia. But, and you offer all kinds of alternatives, anywhere from Navalny and to opposition in Serbia, but let me explain to you something. The shit that your people have created, it's the shit you will have to clean yourself. I will not clean the shit your people have created against me for you. Thanks for watching this video. The only thing left for me here to do is to demonstrate to you a date and time when this thing was recorded. Look at it. March the 31st, 2021. It's right now, as you see, locally 4 and 22. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time, I am going to go ahead and I am going to replay you the whole audio recording in Slovenian language so that you're not going to have some kind of doubts, suspicions that anything was. Uh, you know, this is some kind of gimmicks or stuff like this. This, this are real people dying all over the place right here in Slovenia. Thanks to the people that I mentioned, that I explained. People who eventually believe that with involvement into my case in the last moment, because this is the way it was. You had to go, you have to not die in Slovenia after being hospitalized here, tortured, tormented, you're going to have to go through Poland to actually prove this shit is real, and then at the end we're going to send you our people, you know, and we are clean, we are quit, we are even. It doesn't work like this. I lost 26 years of life because of people in Moscow and in Belgrade, and it doesn't work for me like this.
basically <coughs> Dr. Kopsch knows a lot about this specific case. He can tell all about it, I think. He did not want me to report about this case here. And this was just about at the time when the man would travel to the Belgrade. One time he came to my face with an MK Ultra and really, really threatened me for me to say, mention absolutely anything about what went on here. It wasn't once, it was several times like this. And for this particular case, Vladimir Putin, Lavrov, Vucic believed they're going to cash. Serbs, a local Serbs, whom Vucic brought here with certain locals also have orchestrated fake debts, debts that were not real, for which they believed, hoped I would go about and report on them and so on, um, blame a local police officers and stuff that participate in MKUltra and stuff like that. A lot of stuff like that happened. Uh, Kremlin and Belgrade invested vast efforts into making this account of MKUltra crime look as less credible as possible. Thanks for watching this video. Adios, amigos, until the next time.